for me, this is kind of like one of those apex points in that everything I've done in my life uh, up to this point has led to this album. Uh, my studying music and theology, uh, my work in uh, digital media, uh, my teaching, everything is kind of leading to this point. And I was very fortunate the other week to have lunch with my mentor, Bradford Marsalis, and he was just emphasizing to me the importance of, of just sharing what we've got, sharing um, our, our gifts in order to enrich humanity. And I hope that people will get something deep out of this album, that it will touch them, that they will be able to know that no matter what troubles they're going through, there is hope at the end of it. The Jazz Vespers project is built around a speech given by Dr. Martin Luther King to the 1964 Berlin Jazz Festival. I was very fortunate to produce um, an event at Methodist Central Hall Westminster uh, back in October last year as part of Black History Month and we focused on the speech that Dr King gave and particularly his um, sentence on jazz being about speaking for life, about taking the harshest realities of life um, turning them into music and coming out with a new hope and that's what we aim to do with the tracks we've got on the album and the music we've chosen, the songs we've chosen and hopefully through our soloing as well. You know, I mean, it's it's a it's a music that that uh, that was invented in America, you know, and uh, and it's you know it's spread all over the world now, you know, and uh, the fact that it's a language, you know, that's that's, that's all I can say. It's a, it's a language. It's a it's a it's a traditional thing where it was passed around the world. For me, I feel jazz um, is very much related to freedom. And that's obviously a huge part of the era of Martin Luther King. And back when jazz was born in America, it was just post-slavery, so freedom was very important and jazz was a way for them to express themselves. The idea that um, jazz music can uh, give you a space for um, more complex emotion, more uh, complex thoughts than just happy or sad. It's, there's a lot more goes into it, there's a lot more thought, there's a lot more nuance and I think the space for that is really really powerful. I like the idea that there is a, a general idea in a track but what actually happens when it's performed is slightly different every time and that for me it speaks something about um, sort of the reality of God and how um, rather than sort of giving us all the script, he's given us a lead sheet and we can improvise around it. Mm -hmm. 